So you're trying to figure out if you still want to buy a house during these times. You got to mask up, you got to glove up, and you got to try and reduce everything from touching and minimize how, how close you stand to, even to your real estate agent. And so the answer is simple. If you need a place to live, then the answer is yes. <music> Welcome back to this week's vlog where we're gonna just talk about what the home buying process is kind of like during these special times. As long as you're wearing a mask and you're protecting yourself, maybe even consider throwing some gloves on so when you're entering a person's property, you're minimizing risk to yourself and to the seller, uh, to the homeowner, right? So a good, a good thing to do is just make sure you keep your distance from uh, the real estate agent and maybe somebody else. And then also put, a glove, put, uh, put your mask on, put some gloves on, and then use uh, obviously take some hand sanitizer but i'll tell you what like there's a lot of people out there looking at houses right now because of the access to money right now uh, money is cheap right now to borrow so a lot of the banks are out there lending money and to boot inventory is pretty high right now which means there's a lot of houses on the market for sale uh, buyers are coming out because their access to money is great um that allows that makes for a very strong market especially during this time of the year which is is typical and um, what you're seeing now is lenders tightening up on their on their prerequisite requirements or qualifying requirements as a result of what's kind of going on now so you're looking at if you're looking for a conventional loan if you're looking for a VA loan FHA loan um, these types of loans what they're doing what they're doing now what I'm seeing in the market right now is they're they're tightening up their criteria in terms of what it is to qualify. So they're looking for like 700 credit scores where maybe before the credit score was a little bit lower. Now this varies from place to place, area to area, and lender to lender. So keep in mind that you might want to call the lender and figure out what their specific requirements are. So I'm, I'm, I'm intentionally putting this as stating this as a broad stroke so you can go out there and talk to your lender and see what their specific requirements are. Now, another thing to consider during this, especially during this time, is what the market is doing in general in terms of how houses will appreciate. Because what you see is buyers are like, okay, I have access to money, my credit score is right, I I can buy a house now, the timing's right, and I'm gonna make, I, you know, I'll have the house for two to three years, and I'll be able to sell it for a big return on my investment or something like that. What you got to be mindful of is what we're seeing is the appreciation of the housing market might not be as high as it used to be whereas i think typically depending on where you are again the nation would determine this but let's just call it an average of one percent appreciation per year or up to one percent that might not be the case moving forward during these unprecedented times so that's something you might want to consider so take into consideration what your break even analysis will turn out to be meaning you if you were able to stay in the house a little bit longer for like let's say seven years was the break even to to get all your money back in terms of what you put down in closing and all that maybe seven years vice three to four to five so your break even point will be a little bit longer based on how the housing market is appreciating during this time during these special and unprecedented times so that's something you might want to consider now let's say you are buying a house now and you have to buy a house let's say you're you're renting and your your lease is coming up and you have to buy a house. You want to move with a sense of urgency. There's a lot of buyers out there that are putting offers in, they're getting into multiple offer situations and it's making it highly competitive out there. So no, you cannot go and show up to a house that's listed for 250 and say, well, the market's not good right now, I'm gonna give them 200,000 and expect to get that offer. What you're, what I'm seeing here and, 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 and it's depending on and obviously it's going to be depending on certain areas certain cities certain townships but what i'm seeing across the board generally speaking is multiple offer situations you got to come hard and you got to come correct so speak to your real, local real estate agent and really figure out what that looks like especially when you're putting offers in in a multiple offer situation the next thing i would consider is you got to be prepared prepare your credits make sure that your credit score is good 
Make sure that you're you're looking at your credit to debt ratios. Make make sure that you have some um, some funds set aside for your earnest money, for your option period, for your inspections, for your uh, for your down payment. So with multiple offer situations, you want to have more cash. Uh, available to bring to closing so that your offers are stronger and so if you do wind up getting yourself in a multiple offer situation you can compete at a high level at that point okay this is this is a position of power now what lenders are looking for in terms of you being a a, a solid uh, potential buyer that they can lend to is a solid two-year employment history right they're gonna want to see that you've been employed at the same company for two years if you're job secure if you have job security and you know for a fact that there's no layoffs coming soon and you're you're in a great position this might be a good time for you to buy especially now because of the access to money and how much how cheap or inexpensive money is to borrow at this point just make sure that you have a solid employment history uh, because that's what the lenders are going to be looking for the last thing i'm going to mention is when you get in these loans ensure that your loan is a 30-year fix this way during the highs and lows of you know during these unprecedented times you you're not gonna your payment is gonna stay the same the entire time and this is the stability that you're gonna want make sure that you're not you don't overextend yourself so this way that you're buying a house that you can comfortably pay for and that's different for everybody but it depends on your cash flow and what that what that looks like from a day-to-day -day basis so get us get yourself a 30-year fixed your payment stays the same it makes it highly predictable for you and then it offers you some some sense of security for for the long haul and that that's a great way to set yourself up for this home buying process especially now so to answer the question yes right now is a great time to buy now be mindful of the areas the locations there's a lot of stuff that you're going to need to know prior to making an offer uh, and doing the research but this video was designed to help you guys actually figure out how to get started and how to move forward from there. All right, you guys take care.